on the morning. Ella, are you sure you want to go to school? You just recovered from your illness. I think you should stay at home for a few days. Mom, I feel much better and I want to go to school. I miss my friend. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. How can I not worry about you? You are everything I have. But recently, I've seen that your health is not good. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital for a checkup? It's just a flu. It's not that serious. Please find someone to take care of you. Don't take care of me all day. I think Uncle Max is also very good. You can make an appointment with him this weekend. Hey, stop teasing me. I can decide for myself. Okay, if you want to go to the school, I will take you there. But if you feel tired or something, call me immediately, okay? Yes, mom. At school. You are back, Ella. You took a long break this time. How are you feeling? Do you feel much better? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Did anything new happen during my days off? Oh, May, not much. Everything is still normal. Oh, right. The teacher said our class would have a new student. I'm curious if it's a boy or a girl. By the way, I helped you copy all the lectures in class these days. I'll give them to you after school. Really? Thank you a lot. It will help me when I study. Oh, is there something suspicious between the two of you? Don't tell me that you are dating. Oh my god, stop. Be quiet, class. As I said before, today our class will have a new student. Let's welcome her together. Chloe, you can come in. This is Chloe. She will be transferring into our class this semester. Chloe, can you introduce yourself to our class? Hi, guys. I'm Chloe. I just moved from California to here. If you guys want to know more about me, I'm happy to answer. Wow, she looks so beautiful. Look at her clothes. Those are the most current items right now. I even can't buy it because I'm so poor. Yeah, she looks like a daughter from a rich family. Brian, what do you think? Um, I don't know. I think she looks good. I bet that. In your eyes, just Ella. Ha <laughs> ha. She is more beautiful than me. I won't be as stylish as her. I think you are pretty. Don't be so self-deprecating. See, you guys are definitely dating. Because this is the first day of Chloe in here. So I will give you time to know more about each other. After that, we will start our class, okay? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Hello, Chloe. I'm Ivy. Nice to meet you. And there are all my friends Ella, Brian, Tony. Hi, what do you want to know about me? I heard you say you came from California. What kind of place is that? I never come to this before. Can you tell me about this? People always say, this is a wonderful land. Yes, it is. My family is rich there. I can buy anything I want. The scenery there is very beautiful. I also go hiking. Luxury restaurants and expensive shops I've been through. I go on a trip to Europe with my parents once a year. You should try it one day too. She is more friendly than her looks. But why do I feel like she's bragging? Maybe it's because I've been thinking too much. Perhaps she will be good friends with us in the future. You have an admirable life. I wish I could be like you. Oh, who are you? I didn't pay attention to you. You look sick and a bit, um, rural. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I usually don't care about my clothes. Girl, you should do that. No guy will notice you if you dress like this. Don't pay attention to what she says, just be yourself. Who is this handsome guy? Do you have a girlfriend? No, nah, you can't reach him. He has a crush. And this is Ella. I bet that they will be a couple soon. Ella, do you feel tired? Do you want me to buy you something? Can you go to the canteen with me? I want to buy some stuff. Sure, let's go. You guys keep talking. I will go with her. Okay. I see that you guys seem to care a lot about Ella. Is there something special about her? She is our best friend. She is really friendly and she often helps us study. But her health is not good, so sometimes we can't go out together. So what is the relationship between her and Brian? I guess that they have to feel for each other, but they don't have the courage to say it. So that means I still have a chance. Honey, what did you just say? Nothing. I think we should go back to the seat. The teacher will be back soon. 
Yeah, you are right. So that means Ella has nothing special. Whatever she can do, I can do too. Why would someone as wonderful as Brian like her? She looks so ugly, thin and sick. If there's nothing between the two of them, this is my chance. I will replace her and be Brian's girlfriend. The next day. Thank you so much for buying us lunch. Yeah, this is the first time my lunch has had so much food like this. Without you, I would never have had lunch like this. Haha, <laughs> you can eat as much as you want. If not enough, I can buy more. No, you don't need to do that. You bought too much for us. Does this place cost you a lot of money? Let me pay my share. Me too. I can't let you pay us all. Um, if they say so, I will pay for my share too. No, no, you don't need to pay it for me. Just enjoy it. It's because I voluntarily bought it for you. So thank you. Next time, let me buy lunch for you. Sure. Who wants to eat what you buy, you stupid girl? You almost ruined my plan. Who made you waste money on me, you liar? I'll take your friends and kick you out of here. Are you free after school? Go shopping with me. Really? That sounds great. I really like your clothes. I want to go too. I just come to the mall if my parents need something. I never come there with my friend, so I will go with you. How about you, Brian? Do you go with us? Sure. I want some t-shirts, so it's convenient if I go there. Great. I'll call my driver. We'll leave as soon as the class is over. Um, sorry. I think I can't go with you guys. Ugh, it's her again. What does she want this time? What's wrong, Ella? Are you feeling tired? No, I'm good. It's just that I missed a lot of classes last week. So I want to go home to study. We have a test coming up anyway. So let me practice with you. But, but you just said go to the mall with me. Don't make Chloe sad. She really wants to go with you. I can study by myself. Don't worry about me. Let's have fun and take lots of pictures for me to see. Sure, I will take a picture for you. Okay, if you say so, I won't force you. You are such a good friend. I like you so much. Haha, <laughs> I like you guys too. She, she's definitely trying to disrupt me. I even hate her more and more. Ella, I will destroy anything belonging to you. After shopping at the mall, Chloe and her friend decide to go to the coffee shop. In the coffee shop. I bought a lot of things today. Thank you for shopping with me. Me too. You even buy me clothes. I will wear them often. Now you're inviting us for coffee. Chloe, you're such an angel. Haha, <laughs> I'm so glad to see you guys enjoying it so much. Brian, what do you think about the shirt I chose for you? I think it really suits you. Thank you for this. I'll pay you when we get home. No, you can keep it. Please consider this a gift from me to you. I realize that you have feelings for him, right? Then you and Ella will become rivals. How often does Ella miss out on outings like this? I think she doesn't seem very interested in going out. Sometimes we go out without her. Usually, it's because she's sick and she's also quite introverted. So in crowded places, she usually doesn't go. So when you want to go out, you have to choose a quiet place, right? I won't be like her, even if I don't like going to crowded places. I'll go with you, because you guys like places like that. You're right. Sometimes we want to ask her out. But she's not in good health, so we stop. Then come with me from now on. I love going out to play. We can go anywhere. Let's go to the amusement park together this weekend. I heard it's fun there. That's a good idea. Let me invite Ella. Didn't you hear what they just said? Ella doesn't like crowded places, so I don't think she will like that place. Chloe's right. I bet she'll just reject us. Then let's meet at the amusement park this weekend. I haven't been there for a long time. But I don't have a car. Anyone want to come with me? Don't worry about that. I will come to pick up you guys. Aw, oh, you are the best, Chloe. The next morning. Hi, guys. Did you have fun yesterday? Yes, we buy a lot of stuff. And this weekend we will go to the amusement park together. Wow, it must be so fun. I didn't go there when I was a kid. Will you all go? So do you mind if I go with you? 
You don't have to force yourself to join us. I know you don't like crowded places. No, I think I can. And your health is not good. You should stay at home. If something happens to you, we won't be happy to play. She is right. You just recovered from being sick. Please wait until you fully recover and then go out with us. Anyway, it's not the first time we've gone out without you. It's been like that before. Oh, okay. I understand, so I won't go. What's up? Do you feel sad? I'm at home with you. No, I'm fine. You should go with them. I know you really like amusement parks. Then next time you come along, just the two of us. Sure, I will be looking forward to that day. Very soon, you won't be able to smile like that anymore. Brian will be mine. In this weekend. Woohoo! This place is so fantastic. I want to play this game, go with me. You guys are keeping talking, I will find you later. Come on, let's go. So can we talk to know more about each other? Okay, first of all, I want to apologize for my bad attitude towards you before. You're nicer and friendlier than I thought, hanging out with you is fun too. I'm glad you said that, can I ask you one thing? Sure. Um, you know that I have a crush on you, right? Do I have any chance of this? I'm sorry, I don't know, you make me confused. I know I'm not smart like Ella, but I can accompany you wherever you want to go. I won't let you worry about my health all the time. Actually, I find her quite cold toward you. She knows you like her but she acts like it's nothing. If I were her, I would appreciate your feelings more, she's so selfish. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't tell it about her, but I just want you to know that you deserve someone better. Okay, don't talk about it anymore. We're here to play, don't let this discourage you. Let's go find Tony and Ivy together. That night, Ivy sent me a lot of pictures. They must have had a great time. Chloe and Brian look so close. They look so beautiful together. People like me really don't deserve Brian. What's wrong, honey? You look so sad. Today is the weekend. Why don't you ask your friends to go somewhere to play? Um, they are busy, and I just want to stay at home to study. Can you stay alone at home for a while? I have an appointment to go out tonight. Who are you going to meet? Is that Uncle Max? Haha, -ha, you just need to go. Don't worry about me, I'm grown up. Okay, if you need anything, call me, I will be back. I know, I know. Have a nice date, Mom. Thank you. Well, I feel a bit lonely now. Friends go out without me, mom has her own date too. But it's okay, I'm fine, I should go to study, good study results will make me happier. I will go back to my room. I have done all my homework, I will watch a movie before I go to sleep. Oh my head, I feel so dizzy now, did I study too hard? 30 minutes later. Ella, are you at home? Why am I calling, but you don't answer the phone? Ella, where are you? Don't make me scared. Ella, are you sleeping? Oh my god, Ella, what's wrong with you? Please wake up, Ella, please wake up. Someone, please help me, help me. In the hospital. Mom, is that you? Where am I? Oh, Ella, are you awake? What happened? I called you a lot, but you didn't answer the phone. When I got home and found you fainting in the room, I panicked. Did I faint? I don't remember anything at all. I just remember that after studying, I felt dizzy so I wanted to go to bed and rest for a while. My eyes suddenly went dark, I don't remember what happened after that. Mom, what happened to me? Am I going to die? No, honey, you are fine. Maybe you're just studying too hard. Hi, how do you feel? Do you still feel dizzy? No. I feel much better, thank you. Doctor, is my daughter okay? Why did she suddenly faint like that? She's never been like this before. Actually, I came here to tell you something. After checking Ella's full health, we found out she has a tumor in her brain. Her health will decline in two months. So I advise you to have surgery as soon as possible. What? what? Did you just say I have a brain tumor? Does that mean I won't live much longer? This can't happen. My daughter is only 15 years old. How can she have a brain tumor? Something must have gone wrong. 
She can't have this disease. I know you're in shock right now, but please listen to me calmly. Her illness is still curable if she gets surgery in time, but now our hospital is not qualified to do her surgery, so I will refer you to another hospital. We have two months for treatment, so be prepared to take her to surgery. Really? Can her illness be cured? Yes, it can. I will do everything I can to save her. Thank you so much. I'll write you a transfer letter. So pack your things and go to another city. After the surgery, she will have a normal life. I understand. Thank you, doctor. <coughs> Don't worry, Ella. You will be fine. I will do everything for you. I can't lose you. I will prepare the papers. We will move house. Does that mean I'll have to drop out and transfer schools? I know you will be sad right now because you have to leave your friends. But your health is the most important. I'll give you time to say goodbye to them. When your health is back, we'll be back. Yes, mom, I understand. I gotta miss them so much. A few days later. I've been absent from school for the past few days. I wonder if Brian and the others miss me. I have to inform them that I'm going to have to move. They'll probably be sad to hear that I'm moving too. But when my health is better, I will come back. By then I can go to the amusement park with them. Chloe, you're so funny, and I have to thank you for the trip. I have a great day. I hope we can hang out more. Yeah, me too. Your house is big and beautiful. Your family is really rich. I wish I could be your friend forever. Haha, <laughs> you are my best friend now. And Brian, my mom was really happy to meet you yesterday. She wants to invite you to come to our home at another time. What do you think? Will you come in? Of course, I would love to. Oh, are you guys dating? Not yet. I'm waiting for him to give me a chance. Bro, did you hear what she said? Give her an answer right now. They look like they're having a good time talking. I don't know how they will react when they hear that I'm moving. I don't want to upset them, but I have to say it. Hi guys, I'm back. I miss you so much. Oh Ella, when did you come from? I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention to you. I see you miss school for a few days, are you sick again? Yeah, I had some problems with my health. And today, I want to tell. It's a pity, we're going to have a picnic next week. You probably won't be able to attend. She is right, now I am scared to hang out with you. What should I do if you suddenly faint? Yeah. I'm so tired of being in a quiet place all the time just because you don't like crowded places. Are you really our friend when I always have to do what you want? Chloe is much better than you. She always thinks of us. She doesn't even hesitate to spend money on us. Tony, what's wrong? Why are you saying that to me? Did I do something wrong? I don't think what I did made you uncomfortable. So from now on if you guys like to do something, tell me, I'll do it with you. We don't want to talk to you right now, can you go somewhere else? Can you guys listen to me for a while? I have something to say. You are so annoying. If you don't leave, I leave. Chloe, I want to have a Starbucks, can you buy it for me? Sure, let's go. Brian, what's wrong? Why is everyone's attitude like this? Maybe they're just a little angry. Don't worry, I'll go talk to them. Can you stay with me for a while? Maybe it will be easier for me to talk this out with you than with others. Can you tell me later? I have to go now. Bye. Wait, wait, Brian. Even he doesn't want to talk to me. Maybe they were really angry because I didn't pay attention to them all this time. I should buy them something to atone for. I don't have much time to spend with them. I want everyone to have a good time before I leave. At home. What are you doing, Ella? I'm making a cookie, I want to give it to my friend. You should rest, let me do it for you. Nope mom, I can do it, I want to do it by myself. It's been a long time since I made cookies for them, they said they were delicious. I want to give them a present before I move out. I guess they will really like it, because you put all your heart into making it. Thank mom, I will make it for you too, you can bring it to work. Thank you, sweetheart. The next day. Hi guys, are you all here? What problem? Why are you inviting us out here? That's right, say it quickly, you're wasting our lunch time. Calm down guys, let her talk. Um, 
I know it's my fault that I don't care about you all the time. So today I made some cookies for you guys, hope you like them. It's been a while since I've seen you do this. Okay, I will try some of them. I'm starving. You, what is this? Its taste is terrible. How can you give me this to eat? What's wrong? Don't you think it's delicious? Me and my mom both tried it. It tastes so good. I still follow the old recipe. You guys used to like it. Girls, everything will change instead of us. Now we can't eat this cheap cookies anymore. Take it home and eat it yourself. Can you please try it again? I, I swear, it tastes really good. And I have something important to talk about with you guys. No, get out of my way. Please, just one time. Oh my God, you are so annoying. Did you not hear what I said? I said we don't want to eat your food, okay? Who knows what you put in there? What if I finished eating I was cursed to be sick all day like you? Oh, come on, Ivy. You'll make her sad if you say that. You don't need to care about her, Chloe. You are too kind. Ella, listen to me. You are not a prince that we need to follow you all day. I'm sick of you. From now on, I don't want to see your face anymore. Our friendship is over. Oh my god, I did it. Ella, do you see that? I had to take your friend from you. And I will take Brian too. I look forward to seeing your pathetic appearance. Chloe, let's go. You don't have to pity her. <laughs> what did I do? Why are they treating me like that? I just want to have one last good time with them. Okay, it'll be fine. I'll leave without a word. At least, they don't need to worry about me. Oh, Ella, I'm late. Where are the other people? They are gone. You should go with them. I hear that you invited us to come here to say something. So what is it? It's not important anymore. You don't need to pay attention to it. I have to go now. Bye. She looks weird. Did something happen? I need to find Chloe and other people. A few days later. Ella doesn't go to school today. Is she off again? I see she's taking more and more breaks lately. Is her health on a downward trend? Maybe I should find her. Brian, the teacher is calling you. Um, okay, I will go now. In the teacher's official? Teacher, what are you calling me? Brian, can you bring these books back to Chloe and the others? Sure, what kind of book is that? It's from Ella. She said that she is moving out, so she wants to give you this reference book. She is such a good girl. I hope she gets well soon after the surgery. What do you mean? Ella move out and have surgery? Did she not tell you? I thought you were best friends. Ella has a tumor in her brain. She needs to move to another city for surgery. What? So this is what she's been trying to tell us these past few days. But we never listened to her. I need to tell this to other people. Thank you for sharing this with me. But do you know when she left? I remember. She has a flight tomorrow morning. If you want to say anything to her now, I think now is still the time. Sorry, I have to go now. Guys, we need to find Ella. Have any of you been able to contact her? I tried calling and texting, but she didn't answer. What's wrong, Brain? Why do you want to find her? She will move out tomorrow, and we don't know anything. We have to find her quickly. Someone should come with me to her house. Did she move? That's really good news. From now on, we don't need to see her face again. What are you talking about? She is our friend. Bro, why are you so serious? She is just a stupid girl. We don't need that sick and rustic girl anymore. We have Chloe now. She's both pretty and rich at the same time. Which is better than her? Don't tell me. You still have a crush on that girl. Brian, you should forget her. I swear I can bring happiness to you. I really don't know what I have that I'm not as good as her. Yeah, she is right. You and Chloe look so good together. Oh my god, what's wrong with you guys? How can you say such things about her? She is our friend, she didn't do anything wrong. Now she has to move to another city for a surgery. And that's what she hears from you. You are terrible. Does she need surgery? Lucky for me. I was only afraid that she would infect me. Me too. Every time she's sick, I just want her to stay away from me. Brian, you don't care about her anymore. 
What do you guys think about tomorrow we go to the water park together? I bet it will be fun. Let go together. That sounds great. I'm in. Haha, <laughs> me too. How about you, Brian? I'll come pick you up tomorrow, so let's go together. I'm jealous of you. She always only cares about you. You guys really disappoint me. I don't think in this situation you can still think about hanging out. Ella is about to have surgery. She wants to let us know. But you yourself won't let her speak. Now you guys act like nothing. I really chose the wrong friend. From now on, don't talk to me. We are not friends anymore. Next the morning. Ella, are you sure you don't want to wait for your friend's arrival? Yes, Mom. I think they won't come because they need to go to school. Okay, I understand. 30 minutes until our flight starts. Let's move to the boarding waiting area. The airport is so big, I don't know how to find her now. Maybe I'll call her again. This time, please answer the phone. Brian? Oh, God. Bella, why are you answering my phone now? I'm sorry. I don't pay attention to my phone. I know what you want to tell me. Sorry for not listening. It's all my fault. It's fine if I listen to you. Can I see you now? I'm at the airport. No, Brian. It's too late. At first, I thought that after the surgery I would come back here with you. We can continue to be friends and go to college together. But then I realized that Ivy and Tony have changed. They're not my friends anymore. Ella, you still have me. I'm sorry. I'm tired. So this may be the last time I answer your call. Please don't call me again from now on. Thank you for the time. I was very happy to be friends with you. Goodbye, Brian. The end. Daisy is a little girl who has just moved from the countryside to live in the city. She feels nervous about her new life, being away from her old home and friends. Are we done, Mom? Almost, honey. All done. Finally. Sit down and rest for a while, okay? I'll bring you something to drink. What's wrong? Why won't Dad come with us? Daisy, your dad made a big mistake. That's why we had to leave without him by our side. It must have been because of that girl. That strange girl who shared a car was Dad. Yes, I get it. Mom, I won't ask about him again. No, it's okay, honey. It's the adult's fault, but you're affected. I promise you, I will take good care of you and be there for you every time you need me. Unlike your dad, okay? Okay, Mom. I know starting in a new place will be hard for you, but I always be by your side, so don't worry, okay? Although I miss my old home, old friends, but I have no choice. I understand, Mom. Don't worry about me. Good girl. At the school. This school is so big. I wonder. Yeah, I can do this. I want to talk with them so much, but I'm scared. Huh? Oh my god, look at this. Um, excuse me? Ah, uh, yes. Is this yours? Ah. Uh. Yes, that's mine. Where did you get it? You dropped it. Really? I don't know that. Thank you anyway. Why is she so flustered? Um, I know that film too. Well, what? You mean this? Yeah, that's right. Even though I only watched season one, but it's really good. Oh my god, really? Wait. Yeah, nice to meet you, girl. I thought I was the only one who knew this series. No way, you. What do you mean? Let me see it too. Ah. Uh. I know this series, too. Oh my god, you too. Yeah, wait for me. Tada! 
Oh, oh my god. god! You might think it's trivial that I own it. But the special thing is that this book has the author's signature on it. Impossible! Can I borrow that? I swear I'll keep it carefully. And me too. I'll even put armor on it. Ha ha ha. Calm down, everyone. If you like, I'll take you guys to my house. I have a whole cabinet of manga comics. Yes. yes. Oh gosh, why not? I would really be honored if I could go to your house and see that manga cabinet. Me too, me too. My mother is very strict when it comes to buying things. So I have to hide it all the time. I'm so jealous of you. Hee <laughs> hee, don't say that. I'm so happy to meet new friends with the same interests as me. Nice to meet you guys. My name is Maya. I'm Luna. Nice to meet you too. And I'm Daisy. It's so good to meet you guys. I just moved to the city last week, so there's still a lot I don't know. My old house in the countryside. Oh, cool. Then you have met the right person. I'll take you on a tour of this city and all the shops I love. My hometown is also far from the city. Sometimes my mother and I will go back to our hometown to visit our grandmother. Don't they look down on me because I'm from the countryside? So what do you think about it? Of course. I love it. Thank you so much. Although she was still scared and confused at first, Daisy has gradually regained her confidence and joy thanks to two new friends. Gradually, they became closer. They always go together. Oh no! I forgot to bring my umbrella. Same? I forgot the weather forecast last night said it was going to rain. Now you see it. Haha. <laughs> what do we do now? Today I told my parents that I will go home by myself. Me too. We can use my umbrella. Three of us. Yeah, don't worry. My umbrella is big enough to cover the three of us from the rain. Are you sure? Come on. Haha. -ha. Okay. Haha. <laughs> this is so much fun. Next time, you should remember to bring your umbrella. Yes, ma'am. Stop it. Ha ha. I worry that you will get sick if you guys get wet. Don't worry about that. I'm really strong. Same. All right. All right. Come on. We can wait together at my favorite pastry shop. Yeah. <laughs> ha. The rain is over. Impossible. It was clear that it was raining heavily. Who knows? Maybe it's our power of friendship. Yeah, don't say that. Too dramatic. Ha ha ha. Oh, come on. I think it's cool. I think she's right, Maya. I really love you guys. I love you too. You guys are so cheesy. Needless to say, I already know that. Haha, <laughs> look who's confused. Silent. Ha ha ha. It's nice to meet good friends like them. Thanks to them, I don't feel confused or lonely anymore. One day, Daisy decided to give her best friends a small gift. Daisy said let's wait here. Wow, even though I've been here a long time, I didn't know there was such a beautiful grassland. Same? I guess it took Daisy a long time to find this place. But it's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. This is going to be my second favorite place. You guys! Here you are! What are you telling us to stand here for? Firstly, I want to let you know my favorite place in the city. And I hope you guys like it too. You're right. I liked it already. Here, if night falls, we will see a lot of stars. Exactly. Second. Oh my god, it's so cute. A gift? Yeah, not for any occasion. I just wanted to give it to you guys, my best friends. I will cry for this. Don't cry here. You're being too dramatic. I'll 
come on. I'm honest. Ha ha ha. You guys can open it. Really? Oh, let me. k k a n s That's right. We become best friend because of a keychain. So I came up with this gift and made it myself. Handmade? Oh, great. I'll keep it safe every day. Me too. Oh, my God. I have one too. Look. It's like our group's memento, isn't it? You could say that. Thank you, Daisy. I really like it. Glad to hear that, girls. Yesterday, we went to the library together. Going to the library is my intention because I love books. Even though Maya says she hates reading, Luna just likes manga. But in the end, they are the ones who stay to read the book the longest. Hee <laughs> hee! Our personalities are different, but we're still close like this. I hope this friendship will last forever. Daisy, are you done? Yes, Mom. Your friend is waiting. My friends, ah, I'm coming. Five years pass. They all grow up. Their personalities and thoughts can change. But the friendship is still there. Just a little friction. You know, I really like that character because he looks so strong. But he is the villain of that series. So what? I like him anyway. Dah, he's not my type. Come on, he's just a 2D character. I haven't seen the anime they're talking about, but it's nice to see them discuss like this. Sometimes you should try liking the bad guy instead of constantly liking the hero. No, I say no to villains. Don't be like that, girl. What about you, Daisy? Huh? Me? Oh, nah. I like all the cool characters. They're good or bad, I don't care. See, you must be like her. Fine, fine. That's my girl. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. That ice cream is special. I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. What the hell? Maya, do you know how much my ice cream costs? We've been lining up all afternoon just waiting for that ice cream. I already said sorry. Don't get mad just because of that ice cream. What the heck? You hit me? Because you did it first. You knocked me over. I didn't. Girls, stop. What the hell? Don't touch me. I keep touching you. You're so hot tempered, no one wants to talk to you anymore. Oh, yeah, but y o u still doing that. Are you a dump or something? Shut up. You're not saying that to me. Hey, stop. What are you doing? Why are you guys arguing over an ice cream? We can buy another one tomorrow. We can't. It is a rare item. But. Oh no, it's broken. Luckily, it's fine. Daisy. Where, Where am, am I? I? Please, please doctor, doctor please, please save, save her. her. I'll, I'll do everything, everything just to save her. her. My, My parents, parents have, have a lot, lot of, of money. money. Please. please. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Please. please. Wake, Wake up. up. Mom, Mom, Luna, Luna Maya. Maya. Why, Why do, do I, I hear, hear them, 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 but see but nothing? nothing? Because, Because you're, you're dead. dead. Ah. Who are Who you? Are you? I'm, I'm death. death. No way. No I... I... It's, It's not, not like, like you met, met me by, by accident. accident. But how? I mean, I, mean, I, still, I still hear them. them. Your, Your last, last memory. memory. Any, Any question? question? If you If say, you say so. so, I want, I want to see, see them. them. Last, last time. time. No, you can't. My, My job, job is to keep, keep souls like, like you from hanging around here for too long. long. I haven't I even said, said goodbye to my mom, mom and my friends. You can't do that. If you try to communicate with the living, you won't be reincarnated. Moreover, you might scare them. Then I won't say anything. I swear. I just wanted to come see what they were doing. 
You mean you want to come see your funeral? It hurts to hear it, but it's true. You look young. Let me see. You have today. Yes, thank you so much. But remember, after completing your wish, come back here immediately. Otherwise, I'll have to take you away. And that's not comfortable at all. Why, yes, I remember. Thank you, sir. Walk past. It leads straight to your house. Thank you. I am too easily swayed by young souls. Oh, how old am I? Mom. All oh, right. Mom, I'm sorry. I want to be with you longer, but I can't. Luna, Maya, they're coming. That's right, but... Thank you for visiting her. Yes. You are her best friends, so can you stand with her for a while? I need to prepare the rest after the funeral. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. Please don't be too sad. She will cry too if she see you like this. Oh yes, that's right, I... I will try. I will I miss, miss you guys, you guys so, much. so much. I was, I was worried, worried that you guys, that you guys would, would get, get mad at each other. other. But it's but fine it's that you two came, came here together. together. Then, then I can, I can rest, rest assured. Are you happy now? Huh? huh? What? I said, are you happy now? Luna. Luna. What the hell is wrong with you? It's all your fault. If you had just shut up and ignored that ice cream, she probably wouldn't have been in an accident. Are you saying those things right here? You? Yes, yes. I'm the one to blame too. I should have been the one to pick up that briefcase at that time. Not her. Luna, Luna don't, don't say, say that. that. It's, it's not, not anyone's anyone fault. fault. No, we shouldn't have been friends in the first place. All of these are false. Luna, stop. From me to you, we are all the reason she died. Shut up. You can't say that to us. No, you're the one who needs to shut up. I don't want to see you anymore. Without her, there will never be us again. Luna. I, I never want us to be like this. Maya, Maya don't, don't cry, cry please. please. Just, just, don't, don't cry. cry. How can I? How can I be at peace when the two of you become like this? What? 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 Oh, oh, no. no. It happened, happened again. again. I, I need, need to, to see her. her. <laughs> Little girl, what's wrong? Is it, Is it all, all my fault? fault? Because, because I was, I was too, too careless. careless. I, should I should have, have told, told them to them stop, stop arguing, arguing at that time instead, instead of running, of running out, out into, into the, the road. road. It's no one's fault. Sometimes things just happen. They are not wrong. So are you. Don't blame yourself. Really? Really. So, can we go now? I don't know. You know, you run out of time. Young souls like you will immediately be reincarnated. After going to heaven, if you stay here much longer, you won't be reincarnated anymore. I want, I want them to, to make, make up, up with up each other. other. At, At least, least so. so. Don't be stubborn, little girl. Don't you want to be friends with them in the next life? If we're, if we're not, not friends, friends in this, in this life, life, there is there no is us, us in the next, next life. life. You've run out of time, Daisy. Without peace, there is no reincarnation. I'm sorry. If you continue to suffer, your soul will break. I understand. I understand. Thank, Thank you. Fine. I'll meet you again. Maybe someday. I can't, I can't talk, talk to the living, living but, I but I will follow them. them. I, can't I can't keep, keep crying, crying like this. this. Let's, Let's go. go. So Daisy decided to keep an eye on her friends in silence. Today, today is, is the, the second, second week, week after, after my funeral. funeral. Maybe, Maybe today, today they will they make will up with each other. other. Sure. sure, we are, we are always, always good, good friends. friends. Oh, oh, is class, class over? over? 
Huh? huh? Wait, Wait, Luna, Luna. What, what about, about her? her? Wait. Wait. It's, it's raining, raining. Like, like that, that day. day. Oh no, I forgot to bring my umbrella. Looks, Looks like, like she, she forgot, forgot her, her umbrella. umbrella. She, scolded she scolded us a lot that day for leaving our umbrella at home, even though, even though we, we had seen the weather, weather forecast. forecast. Oh, it's raining. Luna, Luna. and who and is who that girl? girl? Yeah, luckily I brought my umbrella. Me too. Luckily, luckily they, both they both have, have umbrellas. umbrellas. So that's, so that's me. me. Hey you, over there. Me? Yeah, you, would you like to share an umbrella with us? Great. 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 Um, actually I... Ignore her, she will be fine. What? what? But... Come on, Linda. Didn't you say you are busy today? Yeah, you're right. But if we leave her alone... Not my business. Hey, wait for me. Guys. Ugh. Why, Why did, did everything, everything happen, happen like, like this? Wow, what happened? That's right. That person said that my soul will break if my heart keeps breaking. Calm. Calm down myself. I'm sure they'll make up with each other. Day by day. Week by week, month by month, Daisy kept following Luna and Maya, just waiting for the day they made up. But they grew further and further apart, culminating in the decision to leave their current city and study abroad. Where are you, Where going, are you going, Luna? Luna? What, what about, about Maya? Maya? At, At least, least tell, tell her, her about, about this. this. No, no, please. please. Wait, Wait for me, for me Luna. Luna. You can't, you can't go, go like that. that. What the, what hell? the hell? I can't, I can't follow, follow her. her. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's right. right. Maya. Maya. I'll go, I'll go and, and see her. her. I know you are preparing to study abroad. Me too. Can we call each other? Just one call. That's, that's right. right. Call, call her. her. I'm, I'm sure, sure she, she will come, come back, back to back see you. you. Ugh. How stupid am I? She will never answer me. And no, and no she, she will. will. She's been, been waiting, waiting for you. For you. What? what? Why, Why can't, can't I? I? Maya, Maya please, please, don't, don't go. go. What, what about, about me? me? What about, what about us? us? Stop. Daisy, your soul is broken too much. If you continue to hurt yourself, you will completely disappear. I don't care. They are leaving. If you break now, you'll never see them make up again. But I... how? Your soul can't go too far, so stop it. I can only help you get here. If you disappear completely, you will never see them again. <laughs> I, I get it. So? Do you want to come with me now? I see. Time has passed. Don't know how long has passed. Maybe a few months, a few years. To avoid being completely broken, Daisy chose not to say anything and not go anywhere. She simply sat and waited. Hey, come here, little boy. Ah, look at you. You must have been very hungry. Is there something out there that makes you so happy? <laughs> okay, okay. Stay here obediently. I don't know if you're a feral cat, but I can't take you with me. I'm busy today and my house is not here. Good boy. I'm going. It's been a long time. Old time. What? Maya! Maya! Wait! What? I don't have anything to say with you. Let me go. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You... Ugh. 
I've been thinking for the past 12 years what I've done. Where did I go wrong? But in the end, none of us did anything wrong. It's just that I was so stupid and scared. And I can't face the truth. Aye, aye. I wish she was still alive. Shut up. And what's even worse is that I missed you, missed you guys so much. I'm so sorry. You silly. I missed you too. Damn it. You're the bad guy. How could you abandon me at that time? Why say such hurtful words at her funeral? While well, we can cry together. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Shut up. Don't say those things anymore. Where did you go after studying abroad? I am studying medicine and working at a hospital. Wow, a doctor. What about you? I tried to be a singer. Daisy once said she likes my voice. Yeah, me too. You're a celebrity, right? My honor. Hehehe, <laughs> stop it. I'm just an internet idol, but my main income is a flower shop. Ah, uh, sound cute. This place is still as beautiful as the first time. We came here, right? You're right. Stargazing here is really cool. Do you still have that cocaine? Of course. It's my lucky charm. Same here. But I made it into a necklace so I can take it everywhere. Sound smart. It's time. I know. I know. Thank you, girls. From now on, I can rest in peace. Goodbye. What was that? You feel something? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe she's really watching us. Ah, then that's really sweet. After all, Daisy can finally rest in peace. Who knows if they will continue to be friends in the next life or not. But for now, that's enough. The end.